Hey guys, and welcome to Let It Die. So, unfortunately, if you are watching this, that means you made it to the level 23 boss, which is... Yep. Now, I am so very sorry for the amount of death medals you probably lost, or maybe you're smart and not like me, and didn't waste a bunch, and then felt like, fuck it. Uh, yeah, okay, so here's how you beat him. <laughs> Let me tell you guys how you beat him, um, and honestly, how to beat every boss after this point. Um, one of the things that you are not utilizing right now is mushrooms, not to the extent that you need to be, especially when you get to this point in the game. Um, now you're probably thinking, oh, dude, I don't want to sit there and farm for mushrooms all the time, I want to upgrade my gear, which you should be doing. Um, so, here's a mechanic that I bet not a lot of you are using for various reasons, and probably not the right ones. Not, not to be a dick, I'm just saying like that, that you probably don't have the right information. Anyways, moving on. So before we get into the details, let me quickly reassure you that um, after you beat this boss, it's pretty smooth sailing. Um, you need to get to the 21st floor after you kill this boss. I don't care if you have to run past a ton of enemies and be super weird about it, use a bunch of mushrooms, cloak, whatever the hell you gotta do, get past and get to the 25th floor. The reason why is because when you get up there, you will unlock the next grade of fighters. Um, and those fighters are the fighters that you are facing level 20 and up. Um, so that is why you're getting your ass handed to you by level 20, um, and you're like, what the hell's happening? <laughs> it's because he's a grade higher than you. He's grade 4, and you're grade 3. So again, get to level 25 as fast as you can, and then get the new grade and start leveling up whatever character you choose, defender, uh, striker, whatever. Anyways, that's some reassurance that you're on the right path. You've still got this boss right in front of you, how do you kill him? Well again, like I said, it's all about mushrooms. Um, mushrooms and fungus and all of the weird buffs that last only 40 seconds, but you can completely nuke down a boss in less than 40 seconds. Depending if you have the right shrooms in your body and you've leveled up the right guns, or iron, okay. So step one is max out grade three fighter. It doesn't matter what it is, make sure he is completely maxed out, just go grind the lower levels and you'll get that exp experience really, really fast. Step two, make sure you have the iron. I imagine if you've gotten to this point and even faced him, you probably unlocked the iron and you probably realized how godly it is and you probably upgraded it. Hopefully it is at least two stars. Um, now you want at least plus two on it, so meaning you've upgraded it twice. Um, anything more than that is completely amazing and will make this process a lot easier on you, but it can be done with two. In fact, the footage you're seeing is me doing it with no less than plus two. A very, uh, little iffy, <laughs> but I got through it. Anyways, not the point. Um, plus, you can make up for that difference with, um, shrooms. Now, you might be like, oh, well, what about armor? Why aren't you suggesting that? Well, you don't actually need armor, uh, because the boss isn't going to be hitting you because... Okay, how do you get shrooms and fungus? <laughs> um, so one of the th mechanics in the game that I was super hesitant to use because I just didn't want to feel like a dick because um, essentially one of the mechanics in the game is you can send your uh, not used fighters um, on expeditions, aka they will hunt certain players. Now, you're probably like, oh motherfucker, I've died like thousands of times to these bastards, why would I want to partake in this shit? It's annoying. Um, well, no. I'm willing to bet that you you actually haven't died from hunters, you've died from haters. Uh, haters are players that have just died on that level, and they have a random chance of being on that level when you were also on that level. Because there's a lot of people that die, and that's usually why they're like, four knocks, like they're 100%, got armor, they got this badass weapon, etc. It's because that person probably didn't plan on dying there, just got overwhelmed. A ton of different variables can happen um, in this game that can kill you. Anyways, um, how you distinguish them, haters have a golden tint around their name, but hunters on the other hand have red. Um, now, it's actually pretty interesting how um, expeditions work. So expeditions essentially send your fighters um, to a certain floor to hunt an enemy. Um, now, always send your fighters on floors 16 and up. The reason why is because the ultra god tier mushrooms don't spawn until you reach at least level 16. Um, I'm talking about brawn mushrooms. Every mushroom that you're going to need, and trust me, you are going to need them, come from 16 and up. So send your fighters only to attack people that are on the 16th floor and up. And that's also a pretty good way to not grief new players. Now, you guys might have guessed, um, but when you do expeditions, your reward is actually pretty amazing. Um, it's a ton of mushrooms, a decent amount of kill coins, and a good amount of the other currency that's like a blue soul. Anyways, I can't remember the name for that. Anyways, as well as a ton of mushrooms and monsters. Now, monsters have these amazing effects, and that will I'll tell you guys about them in a second. Um, but yeah, that's essentially how that works. Um, if you do kill your target, you only get a little bit of a bonus. Um, you get, I think, an extra little bit of that blue soul. I can't remember the name. Anyways, regardless, that's what you get if you do kill them. So needless to say, not really worth it. Um, in fact, I would uh, very much, much <laughs> graciously ask you guys to send your fighters, um, if you are going to go hunt with them and send them 
them on expeditions, quickly de-equip whatever weapon you give them. Because I don't think you're gonna really want that. Uh, come on, like, you're gonna want someone to waste their death medals. That's the opposite thing you want in this game. It is infuriating and annoying. Anyways, regardless. Um, so yes, please send them with just bare fists. It's kind of really easy to block and manage. Most um, haters um, enter a fight with a mega hit and you can easily just back up and then hit them with a whatever weapon you got and knock them down to size. So again, please, please, please do not send them with machetes or wherever the hell have you because one, mega douche move. Second, if you actually go through and kill somebody, you are now marked. Now, what I mean by marked is the lovely designers um, have implemented something called revenge where when you send your players on expeditions, there is a list of people that actually succeeded and killed you with their hunters that were sent after you. Now, if you're anything like me, you're very grateful that the designers did this because eventually, at one point, you're gonna make a reaper type class that is perfect at killing players. Um, and you're gonna get some, some sweet, sweet revenge because those, those sons of bitches took so many of my death medals when I was a newbie. Fucking stu- okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry about that. Little, uh, little bit of rage, but. Um, yes, please for love of God just send them out with the fists and it's really easy It's kind of like a community thing and honestly I've seen so many people do that They simply send their fighters out with fists because no one wants to kill another player because it just feels bad and it's happened to us So just don't do that anyways regardless another thing to um quickly mention about sending your people on Expeditions only send them out for one hour and spam them all at once um, So one of the things you should get in the habit of doing is upgrading your base how you do that is you go into the defend thing I'm pretty sure you know how to do that anyways Regardless, open up a lot of spaces in your freezer. It does not matter what level um, your fighter is. You can send a grade one fighter to the 23rd floor. He'll die immediately, which is fine because he'll still bring you back a ton of mushrooms and resources and cash and etc. The game's cool like that. Um, and yeah, that's one of those mechanics that you can utilize. And again, it pays to not be a dick because again, I'm going to kill all the people that killed me. Um, somehow. I'm going I'm to find out what the best combo is. And I'm going to kill them all. Kill, kill all the sons of bitches. To do that. I'm gonna make some sort of crazy defender class that can't die worth anything and I'm just gonna stomp on them because they stomped on me and they made me waste so many fucking death metal. Okay. Alright, so step one, two, and three. I don't know how many steps there are right now. Essentially, level up your grade three fighter all the way, get an iron, spam the shit out of the expedition function within the game. You just go in your freezer, go to expeditions, and keep doing that. Um, it's not that bad. Just leave your uh, PS4 on and just keep popping in it every now and then to keep uh, grabbing your loots and throwing it outwards. Your loot will be transferred into your rewards box, but you can only send more expeditions out when your loot box is below um, its max capacity. So again, just clear it out, sell some loot. This is also a really good way to make a ton of money so that you can uh, buy special stew and do all the other stuff and constantly keep um, buying your weapons that cost more and more to upgrade, etc, etc, etc. Anyways, alright, so at this point, after you've spanned some expeditions constantly, and again, it's really it really feeds into your gameplay, so you go up a couple levels, mess around, grind out some experience, etc, come back down, it's been an hour, send them out on more expeditions, uh, sell the loot, buy your weapons that are costly, but it's okay, because you just sell, sold the loot that your expedition brought back. Anyways, it really feeds into itself. Um, so at this point, you probably garnered a ton of resources. Hopefully, you have garnered a scorpion. Now, what you need to do is you need to drop the scorpion, crush it to death, and pick up whatever fungus it leaves behind. Um, this fungus increases your damage by a lot, but also decreases your defense, which is fine because we're not going to be getting hit. Um, now cook that so it lasts longer. Cool. Do that. Now the two things that are the most important right now for you um, are cloak mushrooms, so they're the things that allows you to go invisible, um, and slow time mushrooms. These are the two things that can make all bosses practically a cakewalk. The reason why is because cloak makes it so the boss can't hit you, and if you activate it before you activate the fight, he can't like none of his attacks hit you because he doesn't even know what's happening <laughs> um, But if you start at mid-fight he will kind of still attack to a certain degree But he'll miss all his shots because he doesn't know where you are which is really nice um, And of course the slow time one literally stops time in place your character is moving at the same speed And you're able to just lay on damage to this boss that is just gonna keep taking it um, And also again he can't really do damage because time is almost halted um, And you have to be really bad to not move out of the way very slightly <laughs> um, And yeah um, Anyways so yes, those, these are the two things you are going to need. Some dead scorpion fungus, which you get when killing them. Two cloak mushrooms, or three if you have a lower tier iron. Or you can substitute some of those cloaked mushrooms for the slow time mushrooms. 
Um, either or, they're really good. Now, in the gameplay that you are currently seeing, I didn't actually nuke him. Um, I got close. I got around to, I think, half his health, almost fully, completely destroyed him. Uh, but my issue was I didn't know that certain mushrooms cancel out um, other mushrooms. I think. I'm not sure about this, actually, guys. I think that's how it works. Um, I looked at my gameplay, and I, I can't tell if it just uses the same icon. Uh, one of the things you guys should do, though, is there is something that doesn't cancel out the uh, scorpion's fungus, which gives you an increase of damage but decreases your uh, defense, um, is the normal mushroom you find in the lower levels that just increases your general damage output. It's like got a fist in it or something. It's like a mushroom, not a like fungus from a creature. Anyways, eat that as well. That will increase your damage even more so. Um, yeah, <laughs> just do that. Um, I'm, again, I really want to know if uh, mushrooms cancel out each other because I thought that's what happened, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm not perfect, guys. I just know this works. Oh, oh, shit. One more that's important. A stamina one. So you can just keep spamming your um your iron. Um, and that's what you're going to be doing, by the way, because uh, most bosses are huge in scope and size, and the iron has an AoE effect every time you hit it. So they're going to be getting maximum damage every time you hit. Um, try not to spam your um, rage move, though, because your rage move, one, is not damage-oriented. It's very much... Um, try It stuns people. That's its point. Um, secondly, it destroys the durability on your iron itself. So you'll be... If you spam that more than four times, your iron's gonna break in your hand and you're gonna look real stupid. <laughs> um, also, probably have more than one iron uh, because of that reason. Um, and yeah, guys, that's essentially how you beat almost every boss. Cloak and um, enhanced damage, which you can get from scorpions. And I imagine there's going to be some more up ahead, but frankly enough, I'm still trying to level up my armor so, so that I don't get one hit by uh, the damn flame sword. Uh, and that struggle is real real. Anyways guys, I really hope this helped, especially for the upcoming bosses, because I do believe there's a boss on the 26th floor, but I don't think he is as bad, especially now that you guys have these these tips. Um, I hope, at least, again, just Horde Cloak and um, a slow time mushrooms, and whenever you're going to get fight a boss that is a little bit insane and can one-shot you, uh, definitely uh, use those up, and that's what I think the game wants you to do, because it, it kind of pushes the agenda of prep, but what the fuck does prep even mean? Well, apparently it means grabbing mushrooms and using them at the right time. Um, usually, when you pop up to a level, you go one direction and the boss is right there, which, thank God, that is the case. Um, appreciate that. Um, and yeah, I have so many things to say about this boss, how the fact that it just goes to 0 to 100 way too fast, um, and... And yeah, I thought there was a mechanic in play where you could take more time, um, level up your character, and then like just kind of go through an, uh, an area with greater ease. But no, it's it kind of gets real right here. Then again, I don't have really upgraded armor, so that's a whole thing. Anyways, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Again, I cannot stress enough that if you do send your people on expeditions, please don't send them with any killer weapons. Just send them with their fists, and it's kind of like the community's bro code, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Logan and or Frost, and there will be two videos to your left, I think. And of course, if you're new, consider subscribing. I do plan on making a ton of Let It Die videos, and please be sure to tell me um, all the information that you have, both helping people get past bosses, as well as any videos that you want me to make in terms of information about Let It Die, because this is a game that is really ruled by that information and knowing things, and more so than most games, I feel. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Logan and or Frost, and I hope this helped. Bye, guys.